Good morning. Thanks for waking up with Volt News Network. Let's get you charged up and ready to go. First up, and probably the last we will cover of the story, unless some big news surfaces in the Maui wildfire disaster, two key details have come to light that were previously just speculation. The power company, Hawaiian Electric, finds themselves in deep trouble as the civilian-led lawsuit. And the official fire report show that the power company did not de-energize their lines, even though there was extreme weather in the area. A new report from a power monitoring company shows that this action is what likely caused the first of the fires, if not more, due to downed power lines. Scandalous. But what is truly mind-boggling is that the government could have sounded alarms with their intense emergency alarm system to warn residents of the blaze, but chose not to. From the government siren alarm page, here are some facts. Hawaii has the largest single integrated outdoor siren warning system for public safety in the world. The all-hazard siren system can be used for a variety of both natural and human-caused events, including tsunamis, hurricanes, dam breaches, flooding, wildfires, volcanic eruptions, terrorist threats, hazardous material incidents, and more. Did you catch that? A siren system made for wildfires. According to the Maui Fire Department, the sirens, if they were sounded, would have led the residents to seek higher ground because they are primarily used for tsunami warnings, leading potentially to residents walking into the blaze, seeking higher ground towards the mountainside. This whole thing sounds like multiple agencies not being prepared to use all the tools they had for the situation. Phew, that does it this morning for your AM pepper upper. Stay tuned for this evening's top stories with Dante Steele. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.